Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is kind of a different video. Uh, I don't do many story time videos, but this is something from my childhood. I felt like sharing. On top of it all, I had no plan for today. So I just thought, why not just tell a little story from, from the childhood when I was a wee lad. So as a child, I spent a lot of time in the woods. Maybe not as much as I make it out to be, but I did spend a decent amount in the woods, you know, getting poison ivy, getting dirt all over my face. It was a good time to be alive. Things were simpler. I didn't always look to computer games for fun. Although I, I did, I mean, how could I not? I absolutely love computers, but this isn't about computers. It's about my time in the woods. We, as in my friends, me, my brother, Dylan, my friend since second grade, and a few others, uh, we would just like to make up games. We would make up the rules and we would follow those rules uh, and we wouldn't break them. And, and we would just go, we would go with it. It would basically be improv. Sometimes it would be a game, in this case, we made our own town in the middle of the woods. And this is not a joke. We made houses. There's a whole map to it. I can draw you the map. And this place actually existed behind my house about, I don't know, like half a mile into the woods. But to get to this town, we had to lay down a bunch of sticks because separating the town from my property the, behind my house was a swamp. And I don't know whether this property was owned by my family. I don't think so. It might have been owned by the town. It was just unused, basically just wilderness. I do live in the middle of the woods. If you guys have seen any videos of my house, you know that I'm just surrounded by trees. And if you go out there, you, I mean, you can go far. You can go pretty far and there's nothing, just trees and the, the wild. So we spent about a day, maybe even two days, building this bridge because I mean it was a it was a decent gorge I mean it was for a kid I could probably jump over it nowadays but as a kid we needed to make this bridge and we needed it sturdy so we cut down a few thin trees laid it down and we ended up calling this bridge the the bridge to Terabithia which is actually a movie and um we liked that movie then and we weren't very creative so we just named it after the movie and <laughs> that, that's really it. But there's a lot more to it than just that, okay? There was politics involved in this town and each of us had our own jobs that we would fulfill. I was a quester. I would do quests for people in town. I would do things uh, and I would get rewards for them. And also um, I, had a, I had a little um, weapon business on the side. I would make weapon sticks and I would sell them to people. And basically how you'd get a job is you just think of it. And then if you were the first person to think of that, then you got the job. That's how that worked. <laughs> and my brother thought it'd be a good idea to implement a banking system. So he, he controlled the bank and um, me and him, one day before we went out to this Terabithia land, we decided to get rocks from our driveway because we had a stone driveway and we just started dipping them in yellow paint. And that way we made gold we made gold coins. We made our own currency in the middle of the woods. I was kind of outside the town because I was I was really the defense. As a quester, I had to defend the town from orcs, which I would usually get my quests from Elijah because he had all the money and he was the only one that could really afford to pay me for my orc killing skills. And th these weren't real orcs, but I had a great time just jabbing at nothing and pretending to earn this coin that we just came up with. So after a little bit, Elijah saw that I was making, I was making pretty good money. I was making some good income from the other residents. Um, we had Dylan, he was, he was the bartender, uh, which basically he just found some glass bottles in the woods and filled it with swamp water and sold it to other people. We, we didn't drink it, of course, because that was disgusting. We actually ended up drinking some cranberry juice that we got from my mom's house. And he would sell that for the, the golden rocks that we made. <laughs> But anyway, I'm getting off track. There was a lot that happened. Elijah saw that I was making some income, a decent amount of income from my weapon business. And he thought like, maybe I should, I should become a competitor. Maybe I should start making uh, my own weapons. So what he would do is I, I would get a cool weapon and I would sell it to Elijah and Elijah would take that weapon and put it in his shop and sell them for more money. And these weapons, they were just one of a kind. You couldn't just get these weapons anywhere, okay? And there was no rules against this because we didn't think of it because I was eight or 12. I don't really even remember when this was, but it doesn't matter because I deserve that money because I'm the one who made the sticks. I guess he could do that, uh, but then he started getting more business than I do because he bought out all of my weapons because he had all the money because he controlled the bank. Elijah wouldn't let us go into the bank. See, the, the bank 
was just a fallen down tree. And there was little pockets in the roots of the tree that when it had fallen, it was like vertical. So it looked like a shelf and he would put different rocks and different pouches and it'd be like okay this level of the tree stump is yours and this one's mine and he wouldn't let us go in there too often i mean he would but he'd have to be with us just to make sure we weren't doing anything sneaky and i mean i, I went back there one time with him obviously i was escorted and he was wielding one of the weapons that i made and i saw that my little pouch i had a little bit of coin all right, at like four or five golden rocks and he had like 20 in his. And I'm like, how? He controls it. It's a monopoly, okay? It's not even fair. The game is based off an economy. You can't just create more gold. And that's exactly what he was doing. He took the yellow paint that we had made the golden coins with originally and he was making counterfeit rocks. But there was no rules against it because I was 12. And I didn't know that that, that was a, probably a bad thing to do. We didn't know about inflation, okay? It was a different time. It was a simpler time then. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I got a little jealous. I'm like, look, I need to get more money. I, I have to figure out how I can one up this kid because he, it's just not fair. It's, he's just winning. Not that it was a competition or anything, but I just felt bad about it. And you know what? I decided to do something. So one day <laughs> I stumbled into the bank and I wasn't escorted this time because nobody else was there. It was one of the school days. I stayed home from school. I was sick, quote unquote. But I went out into the Terabithia land. I went across the bridge that we had made into the town, past my orc slaying house slash weapon shop, which was getting dangerously close to being foreclosed. I couldn't afford to pay my rent. <laughs> I'm just kidding that we didn't have rent. I just wanted to be dramatic. So I went straight into the bank. I snuck down and I took my golden coins and I held them and I, I said, this isn't enough. I, I need more than this. And then I look over to Elijah's pile and he has quite a bit. And I thought, well, I mean, he has so much, maybe he wouldn't notice if I just took some coins and put it in mine, my coins. I mean, we were just kids. I don't think he kept track. I didn't think he kept track, but he might, he did. He wrote it down. It was very petty of me, I'm sorry. But in my defense, it wasn't real money, okay? It was just a game. So the next weekend, because we loved going here, we would go here I think throughout the course of a year, we'd go there about like 40 times, like 50 times. Like This was a reoccurring game that we'd like to play. We'd just pick up where we left off and clean up the town. Like say we, we'd left it for months and the pine needles fell on the ground. We would get rakes from my shed and we would remake the paths and remake the this village. It was, uh, it was, it was really insane. We were pretty creative children. <laughs> but what, one time I, I was confronted uh, by the rest of the community because I seemed to have a lot more coin than everyone else. And they were, they were a little confused on how I got that much coin. I took after Elijah, after I took a little bit of his, I decided, well, the yellow paint's just sitting there and we have a ton of rocks in our driveway. Why don't I just make some for myself? If he can do it, why can't I do it? No one really thought of the logistics. Okay, I admitted to it. I, I mean, nobody was happy. I had to give up my rocks and it turned into this community pool. And then for the community pool, there, there was more quests that sprung out. Unfortunately, Elijah was in control of the community pool because he was the banker, but it wasn't his coin. He had to earn that coin like everybody else. So there was more orc quests. Uh, we had to go out, maybe make a secondary town outpost, and then we'd get rewarded that way. But in my defense, if I had not created the counterfeit coin, then there would be less quests to do in the town. And then uh, it, we would have stopped doing it a lot sooner. But that's years and years ago. And uh, I don't know why I told the story. There's a moral in there and it, it might be to not make counterfeit money, but also I don't regret doing it. So I don't know. It's kind of a 50-50 swing. I guess you could say at the end of the day, just don't stop being creative because these memories that I have that I'm reflecting on, they can't be recreated. Like, I don't think I'll ever have that much fun in the middle of the woods ever. And I know I titled this video Lost in the Woods. Luckily, none of us ever got lost because we knew how to find our way back. Uh, but what was lost in that woods was a bunch of time. But I do not regret that. I think that it was a, a great outlet to be creative and to do things that we didn't really understand. We, we didn't know why we were doing the things we were doing. We just did it. And thinking back, it's kind of crazy that we did that in the first place. So I just wanted to share that little story with you guys. If you guys enjoyed 
please leave a like down below. If you guys have any childhood stories that you'd like to share, leave them in the comments below. I'll favorite my favorite ones. And I'd just love to hear about them. Thank you for your time. I'll see you all in the next video. Later!